Hi, good morning. American history. In the late 1700s, the XYZ affair was the talk of the town. When I first read about this in high school, I, I wanted to laugh because when we learn more about it, we discover that this XYZ affair sounded like a bunch of high school kids pulling a prank and then pointing fingers at each other about that prank. But unfortunately, this XYZ affair was quite deadly. What happened was, in 1789, France had a revolution. They uh, were tired of what things were going on, and they wanted change, democratic change. And soon after that revolution, they got into a war with some European countries. That included Great Britain. They were two main actors in this war. It was 1792. Now, the problem was the United States, under George Washington, didn't want to get involved. We were neutral. Because President Washington realized, look, we were trying to get our country going. We had just finished fighting a revolutionary war for our freedom. We didn't want anything to do with Europe right now. So General Wa George Washington, President Washington, did not get involved. We were neutral. Unfortunately, though, the French and the British, being the main actors in the war, didn't care about neutrality too much they were willing to attack the ships of countries that were trading with each other. Anybody that was their enemy, a country that was trading in there with their enemy, would find their ships attacked. Guess what? Ours were attacked. That did not make our president very happy. And it was then that John Adams became president. And during his presidency... Well, let's put it this way. It was time to send over some diplomats. At least that was the idea. Send over some diplomats. Three diplomats were sent over. These men were Charles Coatsworth Pinckney, Elbridge Jerry, and John Marshall. Okay? Those were the three gentlemen who were sent over. They wanted to see the uh, leader of France. However, the president of France didn't want to see them. And it turned out, oh, I almost forgot. One very important point. Can't forget this. In 1795, John Jay started a treaty, got a treaty agreed to. That treaty was seen as very helpful to the British. In fact, he was criticized, John Jay was criticized, because it seemed like the British were getting a whole lot of concessions. Okay? Now, you got to remember, the British and the French were the main, main countries at war with each other, and other countries in Europe, too, but main countries. Well, the treaty appeared to favor the French. Right? Well, the French didn't like that. The French didn't like that. Now, set the stage. Remember, the Americans didn't like the fact their ships were attacked. John Jay gets this treaty set up to uh, uh, how, uh, basically seem like it was much more favoring the British. And so you get the French were ticked off. And so what happens when we sent these men, Charles Coltsworth Pinckney, Elbridge, Jerry, and John Marshall. The French said, sorry. Nuh-uh. We want to see the guy. The leader didn't want to see him. And they also demanded something. If you want to see him, you got to pay money. Now, depending on the accounts you look at, one said 50 pounds, 1,000 pounds. I think another said 10,000 pounds, whatever. They wanted a bribe. They wanted the diplomats from the United States to pay to see this man. And <laughs> that didn't go over well with the United States, right? What do you expect? 
So it led to the response of from the United States, no, no, not a sixpence. No, no, not a sixpence. That was our response. Well, eventually, now here, you know, these Frenchmen were smart. They were trying to negotiate. Our side was trying to negotiate too. We want we didn't want to have a, any problems, any conflicts. So they were whining and dining and different diplomats, and the diplomats get a little irritated with each other because they started to not trust the uh, 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 Pinckney, and or it was a Jerry or Pinckney didn't start to trust him because they felt like they're trying to win him over to get the others, and so there was a little bit of animosity among the diplomats, American. And so eventually they got they tried to get home, but they got their passports held up, so they finally got back to the United States. And when he got the United States, when he got back to the United States, oh boy, was everybody upset. Oh, there was people out there, they call, you might call them the Hawks, they said, we got to go to war. I mean, they're, they're not going to treat our people like that. And so there was a push to build Navy ships. <laughs> I tell you, this is getting, I mean, if it wasn't for the people dying, if it wasn't for the fact people dying, you could almost laugh. But they are the the, the Americans said we got to build ships and they did. They rebuilt their, their navy, and they sent them up to the area of the Caribbean, and they started fighting. And it was finally realized this was that was called a quasi war, quasi war. Well, eventually they had a meeting and they finally settled their differences and they came to a peace, but. In the meantime, you had this. Oh, why you say? Oh, why did they call? I forgot to mention the X Y Z. There's one other thing I should. I'm always forgetting these little things. The X Y Z. Why was it called X Y Z? Well, it turned out that in the middle of all this stuff, that you know, you had Pinckney, Elbridge, Jerry, and John Marshall be our diplomats. The French had their own men. Okay. Now. The men's names were Jean Conrad Hotelier. Trying to do French for you a little bit. Pierre Bellamy and Lucien Hawk and Totten. Oh, I, I'm not pronouncing the right names right. They were X, Y, and Z. Now, why were they X, Y, and Z? Because they were the ones that came up to our diplomats and said, Money, please. They were the ones that came up and delivered the message from the king. They are the leader. They wanted, that's what he was the one, Talleyrand wanted him, those guys to send. They sent these three guys. And so the Americans refused to mention the names and just called them X, what was John M's. Didn't want to give out the names. Just called it X, Y, Z. Okay? He called these guys X, Y, and Z. And so. John Adams referred to him as X, Y, and Z, though eventually the names got out, okay? But it was because of the fact that these were the three men, Hottinger, Bellamy, and Hutenwald, who were the Frenchmen, who were sent to our envoy, our diplomats. They were sent to them to give the message, hey, give us some money and then you can talk to them. That caused the Americans to say, these three guys, X, Y, and Z, were the ones involved with trying to get us to pay a bribe. And so are you, are you getting the picture here? I hope you get it. French Revolution, 1789, war between France and Britain mainly. That was ended by the Jay Treaty, which was seemed to favor the French for the British. And you gotta remember, in that war, our ships were being attacked, even though we were neutral. And so the United States didn't like that. And they got the Jay Treaty. The Jay Treaty seemed to favor the British. So when we sent our diplomats over, nope, the leader of France, we don't want to see him. And he sent XYZ, Hottinger, Bellamy, Hottenville, uh, Hottenville, to our guys, Pinckney, Jerry, and Marshall. That's, those are our guys going over there. They sent them over. To there, uh, again, let me repeat. Hottinger, Bellamy, and Hottonville were sent to talk to our guys, Pinckney, Jerry, and, and Marshall, 
and said, money, please, bribe. And they said, "Uh uh-uh, not going to happen to the response of no, no, not a sixpence. Okay. And so when they finally got back to the United States, John Adams decided to use the phrase X, Y, Z so that he wouldn't reveal the names at first, even though names finally got out. And the Congress was so ticked off, we got to get our military going. And they started a quasi-war, which finally everybody communicated and said, hey, we don't want this war. They're shooting at each other in the Caribbean. They're having a little quasi-war. They finally ended it and finally came up with a peace. So anyway, the X, Y, Z affair. I, I mean, again, if it wasn't for the tragic loss of life, I mean, this would be something to tell in the comedy sketch. These bunch of goofball diplomats, right? Anyway, it's a fact of history. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching.